Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now, as the day ends, let's try to see what is the main energy. Okay, we have here the Devil card. I feel a little heavy. Maybe for some of you, you've uh, had a long day. Maybe some of you even have body pains. And uh, some of you might feel a little bit very low. Um, maybe there's a need for you to cleanse yourself today, at the end of the day. Um, maybe put on some, put some incense or maybe some good scent, um, humidifier scent, something, or an incense or light a scented candle, take a shower, do some meditation, maybe some sounds like singing bells or singing bowls. Uh, I feel there's a need for you to cleanse yourself. You might have picked up something negative along the way as you try to go about your day at this at this moment as you go about today you know, when you faced your challenges today uh, you might have taken up some negative energies along the way okay it can be some in there from your environment or from the people you interacted with so you need to do some cleansing or maybe say a little prayer also you ask the help from Archangel Michael to cut off if there are some cords that have, uh, you are not aware of that might have attached to you. Okay, so you need some cleansing today. Now, the card also usually traditionally reminds us, reminds us of certain things that are not beneficial to us, but we have gotten used to having them in our life. At this time, maybe there's a moment for you to finally let them go. Now, these things, uh, you've gotten used to it, which are not really quite helpful to us. So it can be a, a certain habit that is not very helpful for some, maybe, way of eating or way of living. Maybe uh, the word sedentary comes at this moment. So there might be certain habits that are not good for us that you need to let go. For some, it can even be an addiction. Now, um, it is something that um, we imme don't immediately see the bad effects, but now you're starting to feel it. And uh, it's a little bit difficult to remove. Well, you can easily remove it when you look at it, the chains around the neck of these people, you, you can remove it, but it will take some time for you to go back to who you are. So it means it will require some patience, some endurance, some effort. But you can free yourself from it. You can remove yourself from the chain. But I feel a very important aspect of it is removing yourself from the situation itself. So you need to bring yourself to a, to a situation that will promote your being set free. So even if you move, remove the chains here, if you still remain in this dark place, then you will still be under the influence of whatever it is that you need to remove. So you need to change your environment also so that you can completely free free yourself from it and we become where we are we become what we eat we become what we do so you need to remove yourself from that kind of situation so that you can remove the tails you can remove the little horns so something like that for you to completely transform 
you need to transform also your environment. So, uh, if you change your environment, it will affect also some changes in us. So it's like that. So, aside from trying to free ourselves from whatever habit we need to get rid of, especially if it's an addiction, we need to change also where we are. Or if we cannot leave the place, at least you change your environment. You make it uh, an environment where there is more light, where it's more conducive for you to let go of that element of darkness that is uh, somehow enveloping your situation at this, at this time. So change the environment also. <clears throat> so there's something that you need to... One of the things that comes to me right now is when there's darkness, bring light. Put light. So if it is uh, an, an activity that is not good for you, then bring something that is opposite that one so that you can slowly free yourself from it. But it will require some patience. It will require some determination, some endurance on your part so that you can finally free yourself from it. At the same time, well, cleanse yourself. Uh, somehow, I feel for some of you, you might have taken in some negative energies along the way. Taking a shower is one of the fastest ways to free yourself from it. And again, bring light. So do something that will remind you of the presence of the Divine in your life. Okay, now let's try to see how this will further unfold. Help is on the way. <clears throat> the universe is right now going your way to defend you from the darkness. So just do your part and uh, don't worry. You'll free yourself from the, all these things. So if there are certain body pains you have right now, yeah, maybe you will really need to take some shower. Now, if if there's a need for you to seek consultation, then do so. Don't hesitate. No. There might be a certain illness you also might need to give attention to. So, if you feel something unusual, please do, don't hesitate to seek consultation, to seek some medical assistance, okay? Now, um, let's see what is the advice of the universe for us. Well, there will be some challenges along the way. So, if you're going to free yourself from this one, there will be challenges along the way, but you will succeed. You're on higher ground. Especially if you can bring back the light into the situation, you will succeed. The Divine will always conquer whatever difficulty you are encountering at this time. So, don't worry. Just continue on fighting the challenges, facing the challenges with courage and with objectivity. Take the higher ground, observe the situation so that you'll be able to handle it well. There are challenges but you are on fire and you can overcome it. And help is on the way with the Knight of Swords. It can be you also, it's like the universe telling you, make haste to attend to this one, there will be some challenges along the way. You know, I'm inspired to look a little bit closer for another card. Okay, beautiful. Wholeness. With the presence of the divine, you will attain a certain wholeness. You will be able to free yourself and you will attain a certain wholeness. It can be also that somebody will come your way and help you out of this darkness. So, somebody who understands you, somebody who loves you or supports you, somebody who sees through you, okay, will come your way also, for some of you, will come your way to free you from these things. It can be somebody also who has been in the same situation you were in and 
they will share the experiences with you and together maybe even she, the person she or he is undergoing the same thing and together you will be able to free yourselves from this not very favorable situation so if somebody comes along somebody who resonates well with you whether it be a friend somebody romantically attached to you or maybe a member of the family who understands you welcome them they can help you significantly to free yourself from this but don't worry when you look at it you are in this kind of situation your masculine and feminine aspects are affected in this situation for the word sexual something sexual for some can be related to that something that is not quite uh, something that brings darkness okay but uh, in everything we do whether we yeah, are even in sexuality there are things that are of the dark and things that are of the light choose those that are of the light okay i think that is a very very important part well i was about to say that i had difficulty in speaking that i think you need to address that also something related to sexuality that is of the dark you need to replace it with something of the light now you when you look at it here from here if you work on it you'll reach it here we're in there is freedom there is light there is the sharing of love so in a certain sense from this situation you can mature to a better one where the devil is replaced by the presence of the divine the lion usually symbolizes the divine the wings also symbolizes the spirit and also our guides the the sign here symbolizes healing also so you can be healed if it is an addiction you can be healed but you will encounter a lot of challenges but help is on the way and it can also symbolize somebody who understands you and supports you coming your way now the number two seems to be very important at this time so at the end of the day i guess the first aid that you can do is take a shower or do some things the, your own ritual way of cleansing your environment cleansing yourself i think it's more of cleansing yourself at this time especially if you start to feel some body pains at this time you need to protect yourself okay uh, you know how it is when it comes to especially when you are already maturing spiritually and you are very sensitive to your environment and also to the energies of other people you need to protect yourself constantly now let's go to insights at twilight you know one of the important things also as we deepen in our spiritual journey is to be constantly aware of the dance of the light and the darkness in our life when the darkness predominates we need to bring light and it's good to always be in the light it's difficult when you find yourself caught in the darkness it's uh, it's like uh, a whirlpool that is difficult to free ourselves from so always make sure that you are in the light and accept the reality that there will be moments when darkness are coming our way you know i am drawn to this card at this time okay whale song listen to the sounds of the whale 
if you can go to YouTube and listen to songs of the whale, I think it will help you free yourself from the negative energies and will allow you to get in touch with the divine. Here, okay. It will free you from the negative energies and it will help you to be aware of the presence of the divine and will promote healing. There's something about whale songs, so I suggest you go and listen to audios of whale sounds or maybe even watch a YouTube video that usually plays the sounds or the songs of the whale. Sperm whales. It will help you cleanse yourself also. I think uh, there's something about the songs of the whales that uplifts the spirit also, brings light. So, yeah. One of the best way to free yourself is maybe uh, listening to a certain sound. And it's quite unusual, whale sound. Okay, just be aware of that. Now, dragon's horde. Protecting the future. Okay. We collect things. We collect energies also. We collect memories and experiences. Now, not everything we collect are positive. It, we need to free ourselves from them. It will require some challenges. But the universe is always there to help us. Uh, you, you see here? The help is on the way. So you try to see what are the things in your collections that maybe are not helpful to you. Uh, somehow you will resonate with it. Good things you will resonate well. Bad things you will feel it's not good for you. Um, that's what I was uh, trying to, the message I was trying to relay. I mean, you go through your collections and try to see how you resonate with them. That, okay, that's a better term. Do you resonate with them in a positive way? Or do they have a negative effect on you right now? Now, sometimes unconsciously we bring with us also certain material things that we do not resonate well with. So just try to examine the things that are with you at this time. Maybe there's something there that is affecting you in a not so positive way. Now, Sky Bridge, the possibility of union. Okay. Now the union, the first thing that comes to me is transformation. Union of the opposites in you. A healing process. But for some of you, somebody is coming your way in a hurry. It's somebody who resonates with you in a positive sense. This person can help you also free yourself from these things. So be open for them. Aside from number two, I think number seven is also very important for you right now. Sky bridge. The sky will bring the light to the darkness. <clears throat> Maybe you need to also have some quiet time with the divine especially at this moment at night time the religious congregations usually have a certain practice they call manium silentium wherein the night is dedicated to an encounter between the person and the divine night is sacred it's a time for healing it's a time for rest, recovery. It's a time also for cleansing. And most importantly, it's a time for an encounter with the Divine. So, cleanse yourself today. And try to see also the things that you have right now. Make sure that, things that you, the things you have right now are also cleansed. You know how it is sometimes you need to tap certain things when they arrive into you, into your possession because you, they might contain certain negative energies along the way that you need to feed them. So there are different ways for us to free ourselves or cleanse 
our environment also. So don't just cleanse yourself, cleanse also the things that are around you. And something about the whale song, it will rejuvenate the spirit, okay? Actually, the phrase that comes to me, it will replenish your spirit. So it will bring, yeah, rejuvenation to your present life situation. Well, that's it for today. I hope you were able to benefit from our a little bit long reading at this time. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.